Skull Duggery. We are getting right into it. Faust versus Andy, another two unpopular characters in the current Strive meta. And both of these players rocking these characters very well, repping them as they should. Absolutely. Up there. Letting the intros rock. I very much appreciate it. We're not even in top eight yet, but always a good opportunity to let those intros rock. Let's see how. <laughs> I mean, we don't really see them that often, so it's yeah, a absolutely. nice break. Let yourself collect some of your. Uh... Some of your nerves getting here up towards the top eight. Give your homies some chance to, ca to crawl into chat. Cheer you on a little bit. We're going to be starting off. I've noticed very recently, Skullduggers has dropped using the OTG close slash that a lot of Faust use after the throw. And I'm not super sure why uh, they haven't been doing that very much recently, but it is a very noticeable change for him. Just manually timing a meaty instead. I wonder if it's because they want to be a little more flexible with how they want to approach their pressure, approach the Oki. Yep. Oh, nice oh, wow. fairy Getting coming the out. Fairy on the tap does. Junpei is not afraid of using them, always using them when they have meter, when they're low in health too. It seems like they always use it as that last option, that last call out, and it always works for some reason. <laughs> yep, they, I mean, the, the parries are, you gotta respect them, but it's one of those things that you really can't respect it until the Anji like actually represents it. Now that you know, you have to respect it the rest of the game. It's but so some Anjis just you know. never use it, so you can kind of get away with uh, not respecting it. Nicely done. Small combos, a huge overhead. Going to wait out the bomb, but waited a little too long. Underestimated how long the fuse was and dropping the combo. Overhead, overhead you are in the corner. All right. Gonna hold all of this, but gets thrown OTG, and you are getting clipped by those fans, evening it up here in game one between Skullduggers and Junpei. Backing up immediately with Skullduggers and getting a solid hit that's gonna bring him all to the corner. Really nice jump through, dodging out the JD here. Gonna have to wait out some of these items. Those hammers are very scary to deal with. Nice match by Skullduggers. Ooh, I like that. Using the minions to bring them all the way back, uh, all the way over there and using the mix, mix, mix conversion. So we both have afros now. Hurry time! <laughs> yeah, that beautiful orange afro coming in from Faust. Here's our disco music. <laughs> Here we go, though. Going for the low. Nice YRC from Skullduggers, but does not get the block on the burst. Tries to mash out. Now this is Skullduggers' opportunity. One interaction from Junpei could seal the deal here. But Skullduggers with these zoning items, the hammers are flying out. Junpei finds it. Skullduggers ate a bit, ate a donut, took that quick snack, trying to recover some health. But that is not enough health to take uh, to save you from how much damage Anji can do. If there is Absolutely. one thing Anji is strong at, it's as I've said before, they can make you guess in neutral, but also their damage is insane when they oh, yeah. find those hits. Yes, absolutely. Got those big conversions on deck and also really good Oki, honestly, especially with the routing that Junpei has been taking. Not opting for the wall breaks nearly as much, but just drops you off in the corner. Gets that uh, little crow Oki happening. Nice yeah, I, I, I mean, I like that option too. Sometimes it can be a bit bad if your opponent can make it out of the corner, but... What a dash block. But sometimes it is just good just to keep that advantageous position, you know? Yep. Absolutely. And Junpei just says, no, I'm not going to bother trying to interact with the items. I'm just going to go straight in here. Hope for the best. The field. Yep. Oh, there's the meteors coming in. The guard crush is here. Big hit counter on the 2P. Oh, had to block the bomb there. Stops the uh, combo in his tracks. All right, what do we have? We have Afro, Mini, a Mini Faust, and Afro, but you try to jump and you're getting air thrown. Very Straight natural, back very down natural. To the Just gets spiked down a little bit there. Nice JD connecting. Okay, KJD connecting as well. You know, Jump A living up to her name a little bit. Oh, 
the honestly Skullduggers, I think he's showing a lot of respect here, has been hitting so many of the punch buttons and hasn't really been using a lot of their bigger buttons in neutral. Are you dead? Wow, and getting that extra conversion? <laughs> wow, that trumpet making it so the tap dust doesn't break, uh, the charge dust doesn't break the wall so they can get the super at the end too for the extra damage. Very, very nicely done on the routing there. Yeah, very I similar to, uh, I think that's a, basically the same interaction as Ram with uh, the laser beam, right? Where you PRC out and you do the jabs. But mm -hmm. instead, this kind, this time it just didn't break through the wall because the, the minions knocked him up to just the right height. Very interesting. I will say, though, one thing that I have noticed between these two players in this matchup right now, in this set, mm -hmm. Skullduggers luck has kind of ran out. True. We've only seen Where's the one meteors? meteor. We also saw a donut come out, which, fun fact, the donut is actually more rare than the meteor. Yeah, look at this awful item luck. If, if this was the first round, there'd be meteors, bombs, hammers already on the <laughs> exactly. table. But all we're seeing are just, I don't know, donuts? Yep. Bananas? Trumpets? Oh, banana? Look at Ooh, that. Look banana at the trumpet? Oh, oh. The combo at the bomb, though. Skullduggers says that I, we are feast or famine, but I can fight in either. Guess the tap dust. Well, that's unfortunate. He, he, uh, Skullduggers is slow enough to where they can grab the trumpet while in the combo. So Jumpy had a block and dropped the combo. Yep. Look at that combo coming in as well. Give him an afro. Give him that new hairdo. A little bit of stagger pressure as well. Gotta be careful with the bomb in the corner, but does manage to squeeze past it. Bomb will set up that afro if you're not careful. Nice hairdo, let me set that on fire, but immediate burst. Not wanting to deal with any of that pressure, but now you got the Scarecrow mix up. You got what a nice anti air from Skull Duggers right now. Not enough to kill just yet, but now we're setting out the mini fouls. We're setting out the bombs, and we are throwing in that tap dust, filling up the screen with all these things to pay attention to, and you're not paying attention to the fouls right in front of you, hitting you with that overhead. Absolutely. Sometimes the items, it's all just smoke and mirrors. It's actually just a little bit of classic unblockable tap dust happening right in your face. <laughs> the real threat is the tall paper bag man right in front of you. Going to hit you with that baseball hit, baseball bat and crack your skull open. Duel one. Let's rock. Immediately backing up from Skull Duggers, giving Jumpy a bit of space, but also giving themselves some space so that they can throw out those skewers. And here we go. Hammer. The JK is coming in, doing a lot of work for Skull Duggers, but there's the Fujin. No quite conversion yet. I Another definitely like the mix. option of the J2K2. It's not something we saw too much in the past few rounds, mm -hmm. but I like how they're using it a bit more now for that instant overhead and gain the combos afterwards. Very solid button for sure. That should be enough. No, it's not quite. We are living on a pixel here. <laughs> Japanese guts coming in, but the air to air is going to be doing its work. I just love, speaking of Japanese guts, I just love how before J the Japanese characters were canonically better than, uh, had more health than the other characters. That was, that was always funny to me. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. A little bit of corner pressure. The spin out. Trumpet is on jump A's side, but Skullduggers pay no mind. Can just jump over the boys. Wave high to him. Big burst coming in. Skullduggers one interaction away potentially. I don't think this quite kills yet. There's the meteors coming in as a clutch right at the end. Skullduggers turns the aim hacks back on. Right when he needed it. Immediately the meteor coming out. They're like, I got you. I got your back. <laughs> now mix them up for me. Very nicely done. Jump A will have an opportunity down in the bottom bracket to make something happen. We're going to be getting into our top eight here next. But first, before we do that, we're going to take a little 10 minute break. We'll reconvene here at nine o'clock. We will be back. 10 minute break, then top eight. We'll be back with top eight here in just a minute. Thanks so much again for Salty Boy being here with us so far and for the rest of top eight. We have some good-ass Guilty Gear coming up. I believe that our first match will probably be Red versus Skull. 
And also, it looks like Red Eye of Not took out Mike Safting, knocked him down to the bottom bracket. Very impressive. Yeah, look in. Looking forward to top eight right now. It's definitely shaping up to be something really exciting. Absolutely. Move us on over to our B-Ride back screen.